So welcome you've got there. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Good. Now, Little Bird told us that when you were in back in your prison warden days, long gone now, of course, you used to watch us in your lunch breaks. Is that right? I did. All the lads used to go to the gym and there would be me just in the... Uh, eat my cheese sandwich, <laughs> watching loose women. Happy days. <laughs> you know what? I always say men would do well to watch this programme because they'd find out a lot about how women think, wouldn't they? Yeah, they think they know it already, so... <laughs> well, it's great to see you talking... <laughs> Sam Bailey can yeah, sing, and we know she's in our green room. Sam, do you, have you seen the show? Are you going to, planning to see the show? What do you I, think? I got to see it about a week and a half ago, and it is so weird to watch. There was actually like um, a picture of me on the set, which freaked me out a little bit, and <laughs> and uh, in Simon's office. And do you know what? All the way through it, there were so many things that I kind of relived throughout the whole show, and it was brilliant. <laughs> it was so good. I thought it was absolutely amazing. Can I just tell you what these women are doing here? Oh. They're rolling sweets across the desk. <laughs> like children. Me. Like children. Eating like the one. children they are. So. <laughs> now, Sam Bailey's here, everybody. <laughs> fed up because I had to do the talking I couldn't have a sweet because my teeth were <laughs> stuck together they were rolling them along the desk and doing that mm. like very that good day. lovely to see you thank you Sam how are you um it's kind of weird when you're at home watching this program and all of a sudden I'm like feel like I'm at the head of the table it's quite and you've got your mug <laughs> so I've you got know a mug here. I have nabbed a mug yes I like a good Just need a cheese sandwich, you're right. I know home. cheese sandwich and I'll be at the, I'll be at the work, yeah. Because you're on the X Factor tour at the moment, aren't you? So I'm surprised yeah. you're even here. I thought she's so busy. It's nearly finished. Is it? So it's quite sad, really, because we've all had, we've had such a good time on the tour and it's such, it's so different from the show because the show's like, there's more pressure and all of a sudden, like, the pressure's gone. No one's in competition, so everyone's just having a really good time, so... Yeah, it's... Uh... Well, anyway, we're very glad you're here. We're talking to you lots and you're performing for us, but we want you to be involved in the chat because we know okay. you used to watch the show and stuff. So we're talking now um, about women, uh, when they hit 50, apparently say that they start feeling that they become invisible. Um, and it's an experience that they obviously don't like. They say their confidence plummets once they hit 50. Um, more than two-thirds of those over 45 say that they feel unnoticed by the opposite sex, and more than half of them said they felt left on the shelf. Oh. How much truth is there? I'm 54. I, I'm not feeling that invisible, but then I am married and not looking for a relationship. You're nowhere near that age, I know. But do you understand that? Would women start feeling a bit invisible as they hit their 40s, 50s? <coughs> uh, do you know what? I've got to say this, and I was having this discussion earlier on about um, some of the clothes that are out there now. As you get older, you'd look a bit stupid wearing, you know, like pumps and yeah. trainers and stuff. And I don't think. Yeah. No, Sorry, love, I'm wearing trainers. <laughs> I've been on the tour, on the X Factor tour, with all the young ones, Nicky Luke, and, and I really want to, like, dress in tracksuits and trainers, but I think as you get older, you're expected to wear, you know, more classier clothes, but I, I think there's a gap between young clothes and then the middle. I think there's a gap because I can't find anything that looks young. Yeah. I generally can't. And I, I look stupid wearing trainers, and everyone's like, I bought some really, really good trainers, and someone put something on Twitter saying, oh, my goodness, she's wearing them, and I gave them to my nephew. I just couldn't <laughs> wear them. I was Do like, you think it's just about clothes, though? I mean, there's got to be a lot of reasons why women would feel not so confident, usually down to confidence. Yeah, but I think there's a lot of competition. If you open a magazine and it's all, like, you know, young people, there doesn't seem to be yeah. anything, you know, I think... I went into a shop, I'm not going to name the shop, but I went in the shop and they said that if you want a job in that shop, they have to take a photo of you first. You know, in order for you to work in there, the they right have look, to see yeah. what you look like, you know, and I'm not going to name it. But, you know, I just think like that, it's all about a look and I think that's where I certainly start to feel like that now with the younger people that are in the, you know, and you go shopping and it's like everything you see all the, in the magazines. You don't see anyone that's in there, you know, like my age and above that's yeah. doing the modelling. And I just How think, what about... I'm, th I'm 37 this year. The baby. The so she's a baby. Yeah, why right. she goes no, my way? My mum has a theory on age. She, she says to me, because I'm f over 45, fast approaching 50, she goes, well, darling, you're not exactly 47. <laughs> <laughs>
she says, you've been in the womb nine months. <laughs> then your babe, when you're uh, one years old, you're actually two. <laughs> so you're nearly 50, Shobna. <laughs> You are on the shelf. No! Oh, no. She says, oh, she says, she says well, well, she says there's nothing I can do about it now, and I have to accept my lot. But yeah, but oh, your lot, can I just that. say, Shopner's lot has been some very hot young guys. So yes. there's no... Yes. Yes. <laughs> to my mum is that I'm getting them all in before I'm 50. So <laughs> you know. Before it's all over. Well, do you know what? I actually find the response from men my own age is very um, difficult. Mm. They, they've put me on the shelf. Yeah. But the response from men who are 10 to 20 years younger than me... <laughs> Has, has been very, very positive. What is this show? She's a cougar. Because speaking as the pensioner on the panel, <laughs> I don't know what a shelf is. I haven't been on it. Well, I might have, like, passed by it. I don't know <laughs> such a thing as a shelf. And also, the idea of saying, you know, like this story says, women feel ignored when, by yeah. men when they go in a room. Well, hoorah! Who cares what men think? But this is the thing. Like, why are we all deciding that the only way to not be invisible is to legitimise yourself by what or a guy men. thinks? Yeah. I think, I, you know, if you feel confident in your own right, you wear the clothes you want to wear, yeah, I think go confident. get those trainers back off your nephew. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. They're your trainers. <laughs> you, you know, it's like you said, it is. It's a state of mind. And I think if you're just waiting for a guy to legitimise you, you're going to be waiting a long time. But because they were saying, a lot of these women were saying, just generally in society they don't feel there's much out there people don't notice them they kind of look over them look past them look through them wouldn't you have Janet, what's your the advice right as the pensioner on the panel as you say yeah, well, what I would you say to women to stop you being I invisible? say every day of my life I say to women believe in yourself have courage have confidence I mean look at me look at the horrible raw material that I started off with the big oh. team oh. I have the national health glasses and I just think I'm great I think I'm great <laughs> <laughs> Beat yourself up about what blokes think. I mean, look at blokes for a start. By the time they got to 50, they've got the paunch, yeah. they're wearing those <laughs> horrible camouflage clothes, they've got the cut-off trousers. Don't get me started. <laughs> we look lovely. <laughs> and we think you're great, too. I'll tell you can come in the room. Now, Sam, as I said, Sam's staying with us. We're going to be talking babies with you. Congratulations. And she's going to be performing uh, something from her new album as well. It's all great stuff. So back after this. Don't go anywhere.